This is the uh, Saishin restaurant on the Silver Spirit uh, Red Sea cruise, I mean. This is actually the first time we've been on a cruise. It's our first time. This is the, the Japanese restaurant. I have to film very quickly because people are coming in. It's a small restaurant because they have to accommodate for COVID-19. This is the chef. Hi guys, we are here at the Japanese restaurant on the ship, as we said earlier. And um, we have some virgin cocktails in beautiful octopus glasses. It's quite interesting, right? Yeah. It is. Is this vodka? Sake martini. Sake martini. So far, what we think is this is a nice restaurant. We haven't tried any of the food yet, but the service is great. The ambiance is very nice. The people is very polite and helpful. So yeah, um, I have to say, right? Right. So you know, we'll continue when we actually get our meals. Cheers, my love, to a lovely romantic evening here at the Japanese restaurant. We, I can't really Saishin. pronounce Saishin. So for tonight, you'll be having a nice starter, which is the uh, Rainbow Tobiko. It's an assortment of um, like a egg roll, which is a caviar as well. Caviar, it's a multicolored caviar. caviar. Mm, nice. Bon appetit. Enjoy. Thank you. The caviar tastes like caviar. It's fish eggs, right? Mm. Do you mix the, it with the mayo? Yeah, it's actually really lovely with the mayo. And with the ginger. Mm. I liked it with the ginger as well. So the wife always says that the ginger is a palate cleanser. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like pickled ginger, so I, yeah, I, I'll keep my palate dirty. I mean, here in Saudi, do you only have no, this? It's yeah, only well, this cruise, right? Like, like three places we go, like the King of Dula followed by the Yanbu Island, then the Sindong. Mm. We just go back and forth to those three places. Okay. Mm. Certainly. We were really surprised how it, like, looking at the place, we were surprised that they are, like, a very nice island. Yeah. I heard Sindala is really beautiful. Are they ready for your next dish? Yeah. Yes. So yes. I tied up your table with me. Yeah. Thank you so much. We Don't love talking these. to the staff. Because they're so nice. <laughs> For your next dish would be a very nice tuna tartar top with the um, finest caviar. Do you know what? What do you? Tartar. 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 Okay. And, and what do you? A spider have? crab of paper roll. Nice. Mm. And some lemon with tea. Okay. What if you enjoy? Thank you. Some more wine for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So rest assured, you're not driving this evening, right? So I can do more wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just pour. Okay. <laughs> pour away. How is it? This is spider crab. So the sweetness of the crab and uh, the paper thin mm. wrapping is really nice. Then you have like this mayonnaise mix that's on the bottom. It yeah. actually makes it creamy and um, rich. Mm. And then after that, you should actually eat the, the ginger, but I'm definitely not doing that. It's a cucumber, and this is pickled white radish. I remember this from South Korea, and I never ate it there, I never liked it. Let me switch it for you. Thank you so much. No worries. Oh. There's a little tilt. Yeah. Like I, I didn't Thank see you. that. Okay, bon appetit. Thank you. There's some soy sauce here too. So you have the caviar, you have the tuna, um, you have the soy sauce. Yeah. And then he sprinkles it with green onions, yeah. Mm. Garnet. And then they shred, I think they shred either carrots and daikon, which is the white radish anyway, the fresh, without pickling it. The crab is really lovely. And having the, the ginger after that, just give, excuse me, give it that that kick that every dish needs. That was our second course. Madam, wait, start to tie up your table. I'll give you like a few minute break, like about a minute or two. Thank and you. I'll be serving your next dish. Ready? 
just yeah, put Thank this one on the side. Yeah. Yeah. What I love most with this yeah. restaurant is actually the, the dishes. It's not too overpowering. We yeah, try to not, make it simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't want to be really too fancy or something. We just want it to be straightforward. The taste yeah, is always you know, straightforward compared to other dishes. Yeah, but and also just keep the integrity of the dish and of the flavors and of the origin. Like what our French chef always say, you respect the dish itself. So without, important. Without changing how it tastes like. Yeah. That's what we always say. And we ask the chef, the guest wants to be like this. He said, they need to respect the, the, the yes. dishes and the culture of the food. Exactly. I, I totally very, agree. We went to a Korean restaurant the other night and it was, you know, you, you're there and you eat the food and you have that taste of Korean. Yes. You know, they... They true. To, they say true to, to the dish and the culture of the food. That's, That's what I loved about that restaurant. That's good to hear. Yeah. Thank you. We like it when it's quiet because then we get all the attention. It's <laughs> quiet. <laughs> 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 Should I leave it? The best part of the ship is you can drink how much you want. Not yeah, driving. right. Mm -hmm. Not driving. Yeah. No rules. Yeah. You On the normal the cruise, that is <laughs> actually the. The rules, yeah. The rules. If yeah. You, you, this is the only place that you can drink anywhere and everywhere any minute of the day. Exactly. And you won't even fall off the ship. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last thing you want to happen. As long as you don't use the stairs, man. Yeah. yeah. I was drinking at the Japanese restaurant and I fell off the ship. That would be the story of a lifetime. <laughs> uh, you can just drink and use the stairs and use everything. Nothing's going to happen to you. You should try going on a regular cruise. This is actually the first time we've been on a cruise. Yeah. It's our first time. Your next dish will be yeah. a king crab tempura. It's a meal of sauce at the bottom. And of course, whoopsie. Okay, this one? It's the king crab. Wait, the crab is no, it's also. okay. I think the crab's got him. Yeah. Oh, but we ain't going to share that. Yeah. This is the one. This is the tempura. Okay, so we have a Japanese meal. Oh, nice. Japanese mustard sauce. Madam, should yeah. I leave this one? No, you can take, take that one. How okay. yeah. about the mayo? Do so you need the mayonnaise? No, oh, thank okay. you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Guys, I wish you could see this pinkness. It's beautifully cooked. And it's so tender. The beef is really tender. And the flavors are really good. How do you find your second dish, madam? The crab? The crab is too doughy. Too much dough. Too much dough. Mm. But the chef don't know about it. But the and two little meat? crab. This was really lovely. That's it's tender. <laughs> the flavors are on point. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the shiitake mushrooms that they have in there that works very well with all the flavors. Yeah. Mm. I loved it. And the um, medium rare is perfectly medium rare. Yeah. It's really good. For the crabs, you should more crab, less dough. <laughs> we'll sell, certainly let the show. At least you can do some Adjust, yeah. adjustments. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lobster soup. So it's a miso soup with. Um, it's purely vegetarian. It's yeah. like a twist of a regular miso soup that is soybean, but we put vegetables on it. And it tofu, right? Yes. It's so nice. It smells so good. And the lemongrass with the lobster. Ooh, really wow. And add the flavor of the lobster. Definitely. But enjoy because it's good. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, we forgot to turn up the light. It was on dim the whole time. But hopefully now you have a better um, view of us and what we eat here. We are now on our soup. Yeah. Which, Which is course is this? This is the third, third course. Fourth. Fourth. Wait, fourth. Fourth. fourth course. How's your soup? How do you like it? It's soupy. The flavors. <laughs> it has mushrooms in it. Um, so yes, with um, lobster, lobster soup. 
Well, you have the vegetarian miso. miso. Mm, that's really nice. Soups are more on the light with clear side because it's Asian fusion. Yeah. You don't have really heavy soup on the vegetarian and that makes not proper food. Which is perfect for us because we both lactose intolerant, so um, the less lactose for us. We don't like creamy soups usually. But this is, this is why I like it. This. The flavors are good, it's simple, not complicated. The main chef is my Oh, this, this smells good, wow. Yeah, so now you have the lobster and I have the tofu. Miso. Miso, yeah. I really like this cruise because it's smaller. I was saying to my husband, the ship is not too big. I don't feel like it's too much. It's not overwhelming. And you get the service. Like everybody is on point. Like at every point, your entrance point, your as you um, go through to your rooms, everybody. It's there, yes. Yeah, it's I like this. Yeah. Like you, you I love it. You see me for breakfast, lunch, and dinner all three times. Yeah. I like small things or things that's smaller than the the big. Yeah, I have to say the crew here is really nice. Everybody we meet in every area, they always there to help yeah. and there to direct I, you. I can see the big. Oh, it's good. I like the miso. It's been a while since I had miso soup. Oh, the miso is really good. Um, and the lobster is good the too. Lom yeah, the lobster is good too. It's good to hear. But I like the miso better. Really? Mm -hmm. I think the, the lobster takes it away. By far. Maybe for you. By far. So guys, we had the crew's full attention this whole time, but now customers are coming in and obviously they have to attend to new customers, but um, yeah, we had uh, the full service and full experience. <laughs> the staff here, which is really lovely. Because we get a lot of inside stories about this luxury cruise and get a better understanding of what what is what it is about. Thank you so much, Catherine. This was, was so lovely. Yeah, that's good to hear. I'm glad you enjoyed your day. So I'll <laughs> I, give you a little pause. I really did. Yes. Thank I'll you. I'll give you a little pause just to breathe or enjoy your wine, and I'll be serving your next dish. Thank right, you. Thank you. What's your um, opinion so far? They did a really good job on the majority of the dishes that came out. I mean, um, the, the only thing I can say is, yeah, the crab mm -hmm. pepper was a little doughy, but other than that, everything else was pretty spot on. I love yeah. the, the lobster soup. Um, and also the miso soup, it was really fantastic. Yeah, we're just waiting for our next dish, which is the surf and turf. Um, yeah. Wagyu beef and... And that's going to be our main... Right. Yeah, and the main course. And then dessert after that. But everything else previously, the fish roll was nice. The the uh, um, the tuna with the caviar. Uh, caviar. And the caviar. Every dish was that quite was nice, and it was um, every uh, the whole course is a complement to each other, each other, but it's obviously yeah. different. Right, and then courses. they had the spider crab. Uh, spring rolls and that was that was good too so majority of the stuff here is fantastic like, there is nothing great wrong with this food place. yeah great food and the service is fantastic that's what you get when you come on a luxury cruise and not on the normal ones where there's so many people because obviously everything is spread out and staff probably stretch themselves but, yeah, but also just, that's probably why those cruises are cheaper, right? Right. Before I serve your main course. Yeah, thank you so much. I mean, um, Catherine, and you? You can open another bottle if you would consider after I serve your main course. Inshallah, maybe this, this is enough. This is enough for me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank you, Catherine. Very main course. What we call wow. the second term.
It's a combination of the main lobster. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is laid in the bed of Rico Verde, which is a uh, green beans. Bon appetit. Yeah, this is the yeah. Japanese chef house. So guys, this is our main course, surf and turf, and we have lobster and um, piece of wagyu beef. Wagyu beef. So the wagyu some... beef is um is a Japanese bread cow that is really fatty and it's known to have marbleized meat, right? So Wagyu beef is supposedly the best beef that you can actually get. The lobster mm, wow, is so good. really good also. Thank you, Chef. Um, the Wagyu beef is teriyaki mm. while the, what is the... And the greens is nice and crunchy. Yeah. Wow, if you can see. And the lobster is actually in a almost like a butter sauce. I think it's in a butter sauce. Right, chef? Right. Yeah. The chef is right here, so we just ask him if we don't know something. But our experience here is really marvelous, I have to say. Is everything to your taste? Mm. Mm. Definitely. Really delicious. Hopefully, we also gonna have uh, great experiences at the Michelin store. Mm. I love the presentation of the food and obviously the the flavors. Thank you. <laughs> Then we dropped my napkin, napkin. My and then she brought a new one. So nice. That's what you get, my love, when you go to intimate restaurants. This time you have to serve the lobster like this at home. How's the lobster? How's everything? It's great. Everything's great, honestly. The flavors are beautiful. And the presentation is yeah. absolutely Spot stunning. Let's get the You guys are doing a great job here. <laughs> yep, they definitely know how to cook the wagyu beef and the lobster. Mm. Nice sauce. <laughs> Chef, it's fantastic dish. Really. Very good. Yeah, the beef was cooked to perfection. It's such a, I just said to my husband, it's a thin, thin slice of beef, beef, but still you got that medium bread. This is perfect. Yeah, we can never do that. We can never do that, yeah. We would overcook that piece of beef. Yeah. Either overcook it or undercook it. Yeah. Should I put it in the middle? Oh yeah, put it in the middle, that would be perfect. This is the green tea fonda and the passion fruit and the lake. Enjoy. Thank you. Serve the passion fruit with coconut uh, ice cream and the green tea infused chocolate fondant. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh guys, so this is our last course and this is our dessert course and we're taking it with coffee. Um, Catherine, what do we have for dessert here? For dessert, you'll be having a passion fruit and the lake. And it's a coconut ice cream one. shop and this is Dindy's nice caramelized uh, mango. This is a green tea fondant, madam. Okay, so green tea fondant. It's a passion fruit creme brulee with a thinly sliced thing of uh, mango and a scoop of coconut ice cream. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Yeah, there you have it. One meal at the station, and we're on our last, the home stretch, I guess. It's perfect, but this is so good here. Mmm. 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 Crunchy on top. Nice. Yeah. There's a crust to it. Yep. That's what corn is. Mmm. 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 Fantastic. <coughs> what? Mmm. 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 Some of this coconut 
ice cream. Paired with the coconut ice cream as perfect. It's their perfect combination of a little sweetness breaking their um, the tautiness of their the creme brulee, the passion fruit creme brulee. Everything is really good. They actually caramelized the, the top of the creme brulee, which is supposed to happen, right? Yeah. But it seems like the further in you go, the thicker the caramelization happens, right? And at the outer edge, you still caramelize, but not too much. But you have the really thick crust towards the center of the actual dish itself. So it's really, really fantastic. And the piece of mango is so thinly sliced to perfection. It's really, it's so delicious. Silky smooth and the coconut and the passion fruit creme brulee is a perfect combination because the passion fruit is a little tarty. With the sweetness of the coconut, it just balances each other out. So beautiful. That's good. Oh God! Wow. And this crust is so good. This caramelized crust on the. There is like a movie that says that you and you break the crust. You watch that, um, Emily in Paris? Yeah. Oh my goodness, Emily in Paris, my yes. favorite. <laughs> The, I love it. Yeah. When the designer One of the gets, designer, yeah. gets too stressed, mm. so he cracked the camera <laughs> in France. Yeah, I remember that episode. Oh wow. Where he was laying on his bed and just yeah. cracking it yes. with a spoon. Inviting Emily. I finished wow. the series. Me too. In one night, I finished it. Two nights, I finished. Mm. This is so good. After we had the sweet dish, and I love um, dark chocolate. This is ninety percent dark chocolate. So, this is very good. I love it. This is not the fondant that you get in Saudi Arabia. The passion was good. Oh my god. Oh, it was fantastic. Wow. It was out of this world. So, Everything blends so well together. Because you have the tartness of the actual um, the passion fruit. Mm. And then the sweetness of the actual creme brulee on top, the crust. And then you actually have the, the coconut ice cream. And then another tarty, um, like a zesty mango slice. Yeah. Oh, it was, as you can tell, it, it was fantastic. It was perfect. And I like this dark chocolate as well. I love it. You would be the professional on that. I love dark chocolate because it's not sweet. It just has the perfect taste. It's not for everyone. So dark chocolate, as you know, it's not for everyone, it's but it's favorite. definitely for me. Thank you, my love. You made the perfect choice. Every dish had its own integrity, its own flavors, its own smoothness, and it was very delicious. So thank you so much. Thank you. Up to your dessert is fantastic. Well, we right, my love? Someone will appreciate this. Oh, we love good food. That's wonderful to hear. <laughs> so, I love Emily. That's nice. So. We really appreciate good food, honestly. Tomorrow's friends. Um, if you want to enjoy the view in your balcony, of course, mm. and not to worry about getting up early and dressing up. Yeah. I would definitely recommend having a nice breakfast at the balcony watching the waters of uh, yeah. Red Sea. We will definitely, I had that in mind. He's looking at me. It's, it's his birthday, so. Which is on Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, you'll be here. So that is definitely um, what I had in mind for Wednesday morning. Like a, a nice champagne breakfast. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You could ask their butlers or... He knows everything about his birthday. There's no surprises. Oh, and my madam, gosh. You can coordinate with your butler to make it. Easy. Oh, thank you, Teresa. This is the one. So if you have a look at them. Six different countries. Oh, wow. 
What did you say about the chocolate? Each one comes from a different country. So one is from this Ecuador. Is from Peru? One Ecuador. is from yeah. All different countries. Where's so. South Africa? <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> I'm going to make it get to Richard's Bay, maybe I'll find something. Yeah, that one fell off the boat. <laughs> we have good chocolate. I'm from outside of Cape Town. That's where the action happens, you know, where we make wine and everything great and we make chocolate. Don't touch it. Put it oh, sorry. So is this your birthday present that Teresa is giving you? <laughs> what, chocolate? I don't need chocolate. <laughs> so, tell the guests, I mean the guests of the US. Alright, so this is um, dark chocolate. Everything is about 70% dark chocolate. <laughs> and it's all from different countries. So, the country that it's made from, so we have Peru, Ecuador, uh, Venezuela, uh, Colombia, uh, Tanzania, and Madagascar. So, that's the chocolates we have in front of us right now. But I've just never seen it like this. A channel? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Inshallah. Yeah, soon. I hope. I'm planning. <laughs> It's a lot of work. This is the end of our experience at the Japanese restaurant on the luxury cruise. And it's getting busy because people are coming in. So we are going to end here. This is the chef's station. That's the chef. Thank you, sir, chef, so much. We really appreciate everything you have cooked for us. It was tasty. Thank you. So this is Catherine. Hi. She is one of the um, waiters that served us and she was very helpful and friendly and also Teresa. Mm -hmm. She's busy now with other guests. But they really gave us a really good experience at the restaurant and made us feel welcomed and at home and open to any questions they've asked. So um, we had a really, really good experience, not just with the great food that they've served, I mean, the manner they've served it, but also with their warmth that any guest would appreciate. And lastly, they have given us these chocolates from different countries, and it's 70% dark chocolate, as my husband already mentioned. And it's just like an extra final touch to uh, make us our evening extra special, even more special. Love, any words from you? Um, yeah, I'm done. Good night, y'all. My husband is tired. Um, he feel... What? See, that's what it um, is. Chef, you should give him probably ginger to eat. <laughs> Some pickled ginger. Pickled ginger. Yeah. No, I'm good, thank you. He doesn't want to eat it, so now he is sick. Thank you for following us and we'll take you further along with us as we continue on our cruise. Until next time.